Thursdays are going to follow a similar format, okay? Uh, but they'll, they'll certainly be different. And they'll have individual touches depending on who's in your classroom and what they're doing. And Thursdays are going to be focused a little more on culture, citizenship, and leadership. And I'm going to talk about those things in a moment. But first, we get to talk about some fun housekeeping things. And these times also are built in for us when we need to get together with everybody and address certain things. So instead of having to call an emergency assembly, do a short assembly at the end, find a different time, there will be times when the connected service will be moved around a little bit or pushed back so that we can address things we need to with the whole group. So we have an opportunity to see everybody in the last two periods. And there's a couple housekeeping items for you to know and understand here. Okay, the first one, real briefly, is detentions. So for any of you veterans out there, detention veterans, it's going to be a little different. Okay? Hopefully, your plan is to not be involved in those, uh, to do things right the right way and not end up being part of the detention crew. But the detention group is going to be a crew this year, a service crew. So if you do find yourself with the detention for whatever reason, do not plan on having extra time to sit before school and do homework. You are going to be helping with service projects. I saw Sister Reg in here. She's excited for somebody to step out of line. <laughs> because she's got a great list of things we can do to help improve the school. And if that's, if that's your choice to do those things, then you're going to help us do full work and, and, uh, and get some projects done that need to get done. So that's all for that for now. Okay. We'll be looking at some other things. Here's the fun one. Okay. Pay special attention. There are slight differences from last year. First off, notice that it says personal device. Cell phone, iPod, personal device. Okay. And where that comes into play is when your teacher says you need to put that away, there is no more. Oh, it's not a phone. They're all kind of under the same umbrella for you. But the difference here is that if your teacher wishes for you to be able to use those devices in their classroom, then they will communicate that with you. Some of, some of your teachers are doing some experimenting with using those technologies. If your teacher does not feel that you're having a phone in your classroom is a distraction to them in any way, they will communicate that with you. If they want you to not have your phone, they will communicate that with you and it will be the same as last year as far as having the parking stations where you're going to put your phone. Okay? So you need to know their policy in their room. If you don't know, some of them ask them, but you are to be respectful of how their classroom works and how they prefer to teach with them. You may have your cell phones. Okay? There's a lot of freedom with this if you don't abuse it. You may have your cell phones in the hallways, between classes, on the way to lunch, lots of times for you to check things that you need to check. One thing also that's a little different, you are not to have your cell phone out at lunch. When you're at lunch, you are there to use that time to be social. It's a great time for you to sit with friends, to meet new people, to talk to them. So use that time to do those things. Do not sit at a table with three other people while you're all looking at your phone. Okay? You can do that at different times or when you're home by yourself. So we will be looking at that when we're in the lunchroom so we want the phones away. Okay? We don't want people taking pictures of anything that is not permissible. I know, I guess Ms. Patrick was in here last time. If she has a policy and she communicates it with everybody that you're doing something for a photography class, then that's okay. But otherwise, we want to stay away from that. There's a lot of liability issues for you if you're taking photos that you shouldn't be taking. So just stay away from it on school grounds. Headphones not to be used in buildings. You can wear them to school, you can wear them after school, you can wear them when you're working out, put them in the lockers when you get here. Um, if you have a personal device during a test, okay, it's going to be assumed that you're using it for the wrong reasons because that's what people have done. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to live 
with the ramifications of actions people have taken before us, or some of our classmates have taken. So just don't have it. Okay? Don't leave that door open um, that you're going to misuse that technology in a bad way. If it's confiscated, it's going to go to the office. You can get it returned, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about the policy. The second time, the student's going to be having attention and do some fun work. Okay. The third time, the violation will include a $20 fine, and your parent's going to pick it up from the office. Okay. The fourth time, parent meeting, possible one-day suspension. Just don't let that stuff happen. It's basically a habit that we have, and we're a technology group, and that's why we're trying to find some freedom areas for you to keep doing that. But you've got to change the habit of not being able to separate yourself from your phone. There's plenty of times during the day where you can check the things you need to check and still be respectful to the teachers and how they want to run their classrooms and teach you. Okay? If teachers collect cell phones, for any, oh, I'm sorry. And also, we're not taking them to the bathroom. Okay? When you go to the bathroom, you're going to the bathroom to go to the bathroom. Right? Yes. So you do not need a phone with you. Okay? Very simple. Sorry for the not fun stuff, but it should make sense to you. And it's just an easy way to avoid hassle in your life, is to follow those rules. Okay? So Thursdays, connect and serve. A little more focused on citizenship and culture first semester. So let's see if we can do a little better with this big group and answering. Our first group was a little timid. Show your hand and tell me what you think culture means. There's lots of good answers. Culture. No, pretty much the same. Come on, let's go. You can do it. The way you treat people is part of your culture. It's one back there I can't see. Go ahead and say it loud. Caleb? Traditions that you keep, the way that you go about your day-to-day -day life. What else? <laughs> Culture. Henry. Uh, the environment around you, kind of. Yeah, absolutely. The environment around you, whether it's people or it can be um, symbols. Okay, when you go into church, there's a lot of culture. Stained glass windows, crucifixes. Those are part of the culture. Religion is certainly a part of culture, yes. What else? Ways of behavior that we learn. Very good. Okay, you can keep going. We have different cultures represented in this group in this room. Okay, there's all different levels of it. But I want to stick with that one that Ben said. Ways of behavior that we learn. How many people in here go from one class first period to another class second period, maybe even with the same classmates, and it's totally different how that first room works and the second room works. All right, good. I thought maybe I was just really wrong with the first presentation, right? One teacher may encourage people to be loud and boisterous and talking, argue their points, the other one might have you making sure that your head's down, you're at your desk and you're working on the paper, and then the students in the room influence that too. It's not right or wrong, but there's a different culture everywhere. There's a culture in this room, there's a culture in the school. And part of the culture that we want for this school is the kind of way, and that's why we talk about it. Okay, so see if you can, uh, it's all over school, there's only four things, let's get one at a time. What do we got? Honor the absent. Very good. What else do we have? We have one. See the problem, own the problem. See the problem, own the problem. Very good. Two. Jordan? Help others succeed. Jacob? Let others know they matter. Let others know they matter. Okay. 
see the problem, own the problem, help others succeed, honor the absent, let others know they matter. There's only four things for a reason. Because when we write big, long lists of things, they're really hard to remember. When we have books that are filled with rules or models or sayings, they're really hard to remember. We want four things, because we want everybody in here to be able to recite those four things and think about what those four things mean. And they can really monitor our behavior and our culture in the school in a great way. So you're going to start with that. Okay? On your Thursdays, you're going to start with that. The trick is, You've got to be active in these classes, in these connect and serve classes. Same as on Wednesdays. Okay? You've got to step out of your shell a little bit and you need to be part of the discussion. You can lead discussions. Okay? I challenge you to say, hey, I'll lead it today. It's not hard to lead and to try to go and get your classmates to give their opinions. Okay? Another thing I'd like to do in each of the connect and serve groups is to have a note taker. So if that's something that you'd want to do, take notes for your group about what's going on with the discussion. One of the things that we do when we have a new idea or when we're working on something is we evaluate it when we're done. Okay? So these Wednesdays and Thursdays, these connect and serves, they're making a lot of people nervous because they're different. Okay? You're a little like, what are we doing? And there's going to be some really good things. I heard a ton of good things about yesterday. Ms. Corcoran did a great job putting that together. There's going to be some times when maybe it's not so good. We want to evaluate that. We want to say, this was good. Let's do more of it. That was really bad. It fell on its face. We either need to get rid of it or change it. Okay? That's how we improve. We evaluate what we do. So we want note takers to keep notes on how things are going, what maybe we can change, and what we can learn. So you guys already gave me this, but this begins with you, the Cotter way, and it begins with everybody in the school. Okay? We've got to represent this in model. Help others succeed, let others know they matter, and see the problem on the problem, and honor the absent. Now we have a whole bunch of different teachers in here that are going to lead some of these things in Connect and Serve. We're also going to have students come in and lead some things, and other people lead things. But when you do, depends on the teacher, they'll, make, they'll all have their own way of doing this. But some are going to ask you to have discussions. And discussions are highly, highly dependent on you. On you becoming part of what we're doing. So we have a, I have a quick video here with just some tips on what's important with discussions. Thank you. 
point and end up in an argument. Positive attitude. Be confident about what you say. Be presentable and don't dominate others. Show interest in discussion. Follow these seven rules to crack group discussion easily. So some things to think about for discussions. The attitude one is a big one, okay? A lot of times you're not having the best day. Hopefully not a lot of times. But there's always times when you're not having the best day. Having an off day for a person is okay. But don't make everyone else have a bad day. If you're in a class and you're working on a discussion and you're having a bad day, it's not time to attack other people or attack other people's ideas. Again, discussion is not debates. So we're not trying to prove a point, we're trying to share ideas as we go through things. So that everybody has an opportunity to look at things from a different point of view and share those with them. Make sure that you're participating. Try to find times where you can lead. Okay? Maybe it's something you're passionate about, one of these subjects or topics comes up. Or a story that you can share that meets with the Cotter Way or some of the other things that we're going to talk about. So try to find a time that you can leave. I challenge you to do that, especially as you get more comfortable with what you're doing. Engage and take a role in the school. You have opportunities now with Connect and Serve to take a role in our community, to think of your own ideas for how you're going to serve, but also to take a role in our school. We've got lots of groups. We've got student council. Um, we have dorm council. We have lots of opportunities. This is an opportunity for you as a group to talk with each other, to discuss, and to come up with ideas for us to be better. So I want you to take that seriously. Take a role in the school. Remember, we don't have to agree. We don't have to agree, but we need to respect each other. Okay? It's important that you respect other people's opinions. It's important that you don't intimidate them to where they're not willing to share their opinions. That comes to body language as well. How many times have you said something when somebody wrote? and laughed about it or turned away or kind of put it off to the side. And for some of us, that makes us feel like, okay, I'm just not going to share it. Right? It's no fun. People make faces at me. People say things to me. I'm not going to share my opinions. And then we lose important, valuable information from others. So we don't have to agree, but you need to respect each other. The last thing before you go here is the golden rule is as important now as ever. Right? You need to understand, you need to do unto others as you would like them to do to you. So understand how your actions make others feel. We're going to ask you to step out of your shell and to think a little bit deeper and critically about these things, starting with the Cotter Way when we come next Thursday. Have a great day.